So this week, August 22nd, 2022, Clip Studio Paint made a big announcement saying that they are abandoning their one-time payment for subscription plan. And this made a lot of digital artists mad. Some were surprised, but I seem to remember somebody predicted this. Unless you're trying to roll out and get people used to subscription base because you actually want to have your main software on computers, PC, I mean, on, on PCs and desktops. You actually, you're actually thinking about going to a subscription base, just like Adobe. So starting next year, 2023, Clip Studio Paint is gonna be releasing their version 2.0 with what they claim to be new features, and it will be locked behind the subscription wall or what they call in a yearly pass. So they haven't released a price for the update pass or the yearly pass but i see here that if you are currently on a monthly usage plan that they they're saying that nothing will change it says no if you currently have a active monthly usage plan you will continue to receive the latest version of clip studio paint including versions 2.0 onwards for no extra charge which leads me to believe that the current monthly plan is not gonna change. So when you look at the current monthly plan for the pro version, it's gonna be $4.49 a month. And this is for one device and that equals up to $25 a month. Now, if you want the dual device plan, it's gonna be $7.49 and 43.99 annually and it goes up to four devices and then one smartphone device and i will have a link to the pricing y'all can check that out it's going to be down in the description below now you still can use your current version of clip studio paint the version which they're calling 1.x but it will not get any new features and they said that they will continue to do bug fixes until 2023 and a little bit beyond that and basically what they're saying is like we're gonna do bug fixes on this thing to everybody can transfer to clip studio paint 2.0 and then after that you on your own i'm gonna have a link to the announcement so y'all can check it out and read it for yourself now if you do not agree with this and you're not going on board with the subscription service thing here's a few drawing applications that either is a one-time payment or free so there is critic is a open source platform that you can download of course for free Krita is a excellent drawing tool and you can definitely do some professional work on Krita. Next up is Corel Painter. Uh, the learning curve is gonna be very, very steep with this one. And then also the price. Corel Painter can run you anywhere from like $400, $300. Now I have Corel Painter 2021 actually got it on sale I think this year so you do have the opportunity to catch it on sale i forget how much i paid for it but you do have the opportunity to catch it on sale and like i say it's a one-time payment and then you got corel painter essentials which is a kind of like a watered down version of corel painter and it's around you can get it around forty dollars fifty dollars something like that and then another application that kind of threw some shade on Clip Studio Paint on Twitter, Affinity Photo, which I actually have, but I don't draw on it. So I guess I'll, I'll start drawing on it. But they said on Twitter, just a reminder that Affinity products are subscription free, creative freedom for all. <laughs> so let's get right to my opinion. My opinion is uh, I'm, I'm torn. I'm, I'm really torn because I can see it both ways. Right, so on the company end, the company is shelling out different updates and not only updates as far as like bug fixes and compatibility issues. Clip Studio Paint is coming out with like different innovative features to actually make 
digital art more enjoyable on their platform. For the past two years, I really noticed that Clip Studio Paint has came out with different updates like the companion mode, which allows you to use your phone as a reference tool, color picker, the record feature, which is perfect for social media because you can set it to 916 mode. That's perfect for TikTok, shorts, reels the liquify tool they just added and a lot of times these updates they just come with like random brushes i don't know how many times i've received an update from clip studio paint and i just got new brushes all of these things take money to develop and the thing is is that with the current one-time payment offering you get all of these updates and features and things like that they have to rely on new people coming into the platform. And so if they're not getting new people to buy Clip Studio Paint or a certain number of new people to buy Clip Studio Paint, and then down the line, they're going to end up losing money down the line because their price range is a little low compared to Corel Painter. Corel Painter charges like 400 some dollars. And even Corel Painter has a subscription service option. You gotta have your money up and either you need to have like a large amount of new users that are coming in to make up that price. Either have advertisements on your inside of your application, which a lot of people don't like, I don't like, or you charge a exorbitant amount of price like Corel Painter, or you become free like Krita, but then you still need money. So you ask for donations. So I, I, I can kind of understand from their perspective and I don't know their financials. So I can't say like, with confidence like this is what's going on they're losing money i can't really say that so the argument with digital artists is like okay y'all just being greedy right y'all lied and y'all just being greedy they've you no know, digital artists we feel like betrayed because clip studio paint really that was really their selling point it's like hey we're a one-time purchase we're not like photoshop yeah, so that's a tough one. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of torn, kind of torn, but I, I'm leaning towards like Clip Studio Paint, but I'm still kind of torn because they can, you know, maybe they're making money and they, they're just, they're just greedy. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Y'all let me know down in the comments how y'all feel about the move. And one more thing, this is the perfect time to actually compare Clip Studio Paint versus Krita.